This is a pretty standard layout for a Lifter LMS lesson uh, with a content area and a sidebar with a course syllabus. But if your course syllabus is too long because you have too many lessons and sections, uh, in this video we'll show you how you can display just one section to make it a lot easier for students to navigate. So you can see here I have my sidebar set up and I'm currently using widgets. You can find this area by going to Appearance Widgets and we can see I have the lesson sidebar set with course progress and syllabus. That's the progress there and there's the syllabus. Uh, for this tutorial we're not going to use the syllabus so I can go ahead and delete that and then I'll reload here just to make sure we're in the right place. There we go. So we're going to want to use a text widget. So I'll drag a text widget up into my lesson sidebar area and we can type hello just to make sure we're in the right place again and reload. Awesome. So we can see that there. Uh, but what, what we're going to want to do instead of hello, we're going to want to type a Lifter LMS shortcode. Uh, so I'm going to want to use the outline shortcode for this and we can just copy this whole thing. It's a little hard to see here, but once I paste it over into my text editor, you'll see the, the full thing here. And I'm actually not going to want to paste it into the visual as that can cause errors because we can see there's a lot of like styling going on here. I'm just going to want to delete all that and paste just the shortcode in. And I can modify the shortcode by using this guide here. And so we can say the collapse tool and all of these things we can do to the shortcode. But let's quickly save and reload over here and see what changes. So we can see it says course ID 123, which is why we're not seeing the syllabus we saw before. Uh, if it's in a course, you don't need to have this course ID. We can just delete that uh, because it knows which course it's inside of. So now we can see the full syllabus. But how can we display only one section? Well, what we can do is use this outline type. We can say uh, accepts full, full or current section. So we're going to use current section. But what I want to do is copy outline type. And I'd like to add that in as another parameter. We'll say uh, outline type equals and I'd like to use current section only and then current section cap that off and let's see if that works so now I'll head back to my lesson and reload and there we go it displays the section that I'm currently on and you can see I've completed this lesson and I'm on this lesson uh, now if you're using just the current section you might want to remove the uh, option to collapse and the toggles because those are useful if you have more than one section so we'll save that and now this collapse and and toggle should go away there. there there they go so now we can see just the current section here and uh, if I head back to the course if I head back to courses I'm in the investing course so let's head back over here we can see this is the course sidebar and I haven't uh, done the current section there so we can see the full thing but if I head into uh, a lesson here we can see I can head to support system, which is the, the lesson I'm on. And once I click on mark complete, it'll take me to the third section and it should update uh, the sidebar here. Once it uh, lets me complete the lesson, there we go. Let's me know I completed a, a lesson in section and now we're in section three here. Now the only disadvantage to this setup is that uh, it's going to show me lesson three, the area I'm on. Uh, no matter where I am. So if I go into section one, it's still going to show me the uh, third section here. But that's just a neat way you can display just the current section in a Lifter LMS sidebar. And I'll make sure to paste this in the YouTube video description. But this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.